I got this question a lot, what are the best bows in Assassin's Creed Valhalla? So in this video I want to look at all of them and also show them in action and tell you what the best picks in the game right now are and also how you can get these bows. So a like on the video would really help me out and let's go. You can still enter my giveaway for 2300 Helix credits, click the link in the pinned comment if you want to participate and you have to be a subscriber of this channel before you enter. Would be nice if you could leave a like on the video as well and good luck. Let's start with the longbow. That is not for everyone but will give you this huge advantage if you use it correctly. It namely has this smoke bomb appear when you use the weapon from short range. So then the enemies will be unable to see you so you can run away or go for the offensive approach. And for example do some increased back damage with a cool finisher or hit multiple enemies with one attack. There is a cooldown that you will actually see with an icon that appears above your health after the smoke bomb has triggered. So then you know when you can do the tactic again. Another way to have a smoke bomb appear is of course through the assassin's cantrip skill. But then you have to parry first and then hit a button. So with this bow you don't have to wait for the enemy and can be more aggressive. It's really fun to use but I mostly want it as a major rune so I can put it on another bow instead. Because having to shoot a predator bow from close range is kind of weird. You get this longbow by the way in Lincolnshire next to Lincoln over here on the map. The Bullseye Predator Bow has a unique perk as well and you get this one from the London Story Arc. It's like a fun stealth bow because on a stealth headshot kill you have this trap appear kind of similar to the trap you put on a dead body with the explosive corpse skill and then when enemies walk over it it will explode deal some damage or cause them to be instantly stunned so you can finish them off with a bow stun finisher. So they can continue to sneak through the camp and easily take out enemies from afar. Patience is needed though, but it's totally a great stealth bow with a fun perk. But the best predator bow all around would be Petra's arc bow in my opinion. Predator bows should be used for long range to pick off enemies with some well aimed headshots. And when you do this, you are full health most of the time. So then you will have the 15 extra crit damage buff from this bow active as well. And what is great is that it's an all around passive buff that also translates to your melee damage. So the crits with your melee weapons will be increased as well. So you don't even have to use the bow to benefit from the perk. Really nice, again best predator bow in my opinion. And you get it from killing 4 of the legendary animals in the game and then going to the hunter's hut in your settlement to claim the trophies. The shadow strike helix bow by the way has the same perk but yeah no need for it because Petra's bow is easily obtainable and I will leave a link to all the animals that you need to kill in the video description. For the light bows that spartan bow is still my favorite because it's just really fun to focus on that dodge to then get 30 extra crit chance for 2.5 seconds which is pretty significant. It's great for then using that bow but also for melee focused builds like with the mentor set for example. Just dodge a lot to close the distance and you have a way more chance to have the crits appear. You of course get this bow by spending 100 coins in the Ubisoft Connect section of the game. But there's another crit chance light bow that is even better if you combine it with a fast hits melee build. And that's the Viper bow that you can buy at the merchant in your settlement for example. This bow gives you crit chance per hit up to 10 times to then in the end also get a total of 30 extra crit chance. So that's nice for a rapid fire bow. But even better if you for example use two daggers with a melee build. Because the crit chance builds up also when you just hit with your melee weapons. Meaning that per hit you increase your chance of a crit. And with weapons like the Copis that gives you health back on a crit. It is a very nice combination. If you then also use the claw dagger that gives you increased crit damage per hit. You have a very very sick build. It makes the viper bow without like even using it. An amazing weapon for regular damage. During the Lincolnshire main story arc you get another light bow that can also be nice when you focus on stun. Hitting a weak point will namely give you 20 stun for 5 seconds. So in that window you can run up to enemies with a hammer like Mjolnir for example to deal even more stun damage and decrease the enemy's armor. Stun is one of the most powerful attributes in Valhalla because it also helps you do stun finishers that can easily take out the most high health targets 
So having a light bow that focuses on this stat is great. And it's actually similar to the Hunter's Bow from the Hunter's Hut that I showed you in my previous secret weapon video. And as you might know, you get this Magyar Hunting Bow after completing all the hunting deliveries. And I will leave a full link to the video that also gives you some hunting tips at the end of this one. Also here, just hit the weak points of an enemy and then you get a 20 stun to deal some increased stun damage with melee weapons. It's really nice. The Death Speaker has been my favorite Hunter's Bow up to this point though. Like overall, Hunter's Bows are the best bows in the game by far in my opinion because of how they function and how much single damage they do, especially with that charged shot skill that I showed you many times already. And the Death Speaker is great because there are not a lot of ways to get health back in Valhalla without eating, so having a bow that gives you 25% health when hitting a weak point is pretty nuts. If you use this for example with the focus of the Nornir ability, so you have even more chance and time to hit the weak points to deal stun damage, you then also get health back in the process. So totally buy this bow at the Merchant if you haven't already, it's really good. I talked about the Draka Helix bow before because at one point it was in the weekly selection at Reda. This increases ranged damage the heavier you are up to 15 extra range damage. So then by simply equipping the Huntsman armor set or like the Thor armor set in this case, you weigh a ton like 100 in this instance. So then you will have the increased range damage basically as a passive perk at all times without having to worry about hitting weak points or anything. Really good. Because that is the case with the Hunnish bow that gives you 15 extra range damage but after hitting a weak point it lasts 20 seconds though so that's quite long. And to be fair when using a bow and arrow you want to focus on the weak points anyways. So then will just enjoy this increased damage for 20 seconds so this is a great alternative for the draca bow in my opinion because obviously without paying money it's pretty hard to get you have to pray to reda that he will sell it again and yeah this is also the bow that you already have because you get it very early on so to recap the petra's arc is my favorite predator bow the spartan's bow is great as a light bow if you like to dodge and play around with that but the Viper Bow, depending on the melee weapons, if you have like very fast melee weapons, is really great too. And for the Hunter's Bow, I love the Death Speaker or the Magyar's Hunting Bow that I just got. I'm actually using the Magyar Hunting's Bow now with the Major Rune that also gives me health on weak points. So I basically combined the Magyar Hunting Bow and the Death Speaker, which is of course possible. So I totally upgrades the bows to Mythical to have an extra perk on them. Subscribe for way more Valhalla content. I will keep you up to date when new content is coming, which should be very, very soon. A like on the video would really help me out. Let me know what your favorite bow is in the comments down below. And check out that secret weapons video if you haven't already by clicking on the screen. For now though, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.